Hi everyone, Pastor Tim here, and I just want to give you a couple of words on how to navigate your Bible. Okay, so if you look at your table of contents, and just open a few pages inside the cover of your Bible, you'll see it's divided into two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now the word testament means covenant. And so the Old Testament, or the Old Covenant, is the story about uh, the relationship that God entered into with the people of Israel, beginning with Abraham and then through Moses. And so it's a story about how God called them and God chose them and wanted them to be uh, his faithful people to reveal himself to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, it's really the story of how a faithful God uh, loved an unfaithful people. But there was always this righteous remnant, but they were still waiting for one who was truly faithful to God. And so it's a story of hope and it's a story of failure. But it begins in Genesis and goes down through uh, books of history and books of, of poetry and books of wisdom and then books of the prophets. So these prophets are they pick up here in Isaiah and go down through Malachi. So this section here, this would be the Hebrew scriptures. If you ever talk to a Jewish person, you wouldn't want to call it the Old Testament. It's just their scriptures. So these are the Hebrew scriptures. Our scriptures as Christians includes both the Old Testament and the New Testament. So the New Testament or the New Covenant is the story of Jesus and his people, the people of the church. And so in these first four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, these are called the Gospels. And it is the story of Jesus. And then Acts is the history of the church. And then all the rest of these Romans, even through Revelation, these are letters to the churches, letters to the people of God about how to be the new people of God. Now, one of the things about uh, how the Bible works is after it's divided into these two main sections of the Old Testament and the New Testament, you have all these books and every book is broken down into chapters. And then the chapters are broken down into verses. Verses are usually about a sentence long. Some books only have one chapter, like the book of Jude right here, just one chapter long, or 3 John, one chapter long. Some of them have many chapters, like the book of Psalms has 150 chapters. So whenever you see something written out like, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14 through 17, you're going to find the book of 2 Timothy, you're going to turn to chapter 3, and you're going to look for these verses, 14 to 17. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings, or the scriptures, that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching and for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. So that's how to navigate your Bible. You just find the book, then you find the chapter, and then you find the verse. And if you don't know where the book is, you turn to the table of contents, and you find it in the Old Testament or in the New Testament. Finally, I want to give you uh, a word about translations. So I've got a bunch of translations on my shelf, and here in front of me, uh, I have a couple as well. Now, one of the most important things you need to do is distinguish between a translation and a publisher's edition. So there's all kinds of Bibles out there. There's the Quest Study Bible, there's the New International Version Study Bible, there's the Recovery Study Bible, there's the Spirit-Filled Bible. Uh, this is an old one, it's the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. I've had one of these. So these publisher editions, they come in different translations. So what you really want to look for is, uh, it's often on the back cover, so here mine says New International Version. Uh, this is another publisher's edition of something, it's the NIV Topical Bible, but you can see it's the New International Version. Uh, this is just the Bible, no special things, no special helps, and you can see on the back cover it says NRSV, that stands for New Revised Standard Version. 
And if it's not there, you can look on the inside cover and you'll see it there. So one of the things about translations is you want to look for one that is uh, understandable to read, but also fairly accurate. So in church, on, at, in worship service, we use the New International Version. I would recommend that to you. Pastor Matt and I, both of us, in our, in our personal study, we use one known as the English Standard Version. That's also very good. If you use the Bible Project uh, reading plan, they also use the English Standard Version. Then there's also, which so this is my favorite, even though I don't use it, uh, is the NRSV. I think that's the best. Uh, you want to stay away from King James Version. Uh, King James Version was a really good translation in the 1600s, but it's not the language that we speak anymore. It's 400 years old. And so it can be nice, but it's not really going to be helpful to you to read. You want to find a translation, as I said, that is accurate, uh, but also readable, because God wants you to understand His Word. So there you go. Uh, there's just some helps about how to navigate your Bible.